Well, I'm back on a site that I've hunted a number of times. And I just thought I'd get out and check it out today. Here's my first find. We got another car. It's a little tow truck. I don't see any writing on the inside of it. It's got all its tires. Another one to add to my collection. Let's see what else we can find. Well, there's a nice piece. Old lipstick container. I found two or three of these in the past. Made out of brass. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, well, there's my next find. It says produce of Norway. Aluminum container improves. I'm assuming it's off can of sardines or something. I don't know. Looks fairly old though. Move on. Well, my next target was a pie plate. <clears throat> I also popped another ball out of the hole. <clears throat> Getting tired of taking these home for the dogs. I've got a whole backyard full of the things now. Well, here we go. Another ball jar lid. This one's flattened, no glass in it. Let's see what else we can find. Well, there's kind of an interesting find. Doesn't look very old, but it looks like a kid's whistle. Yeah, let's see what else we can find. Well, if I can find one cool thing on each trip, that's a success. Check that out. It's got a little mounting hole on the one end. So I'm gathering it hung like this. Looks like it's brass. Is that cool or what? Yeah, that made my day. Let's see what else we can find here. Well, there's my next find. Old silver plated spoon. Got some fancy on the end of it. Looks like a rose pattern or something. Anyway, that's pretty cool. Let's move on. Yeah, not sure what that is. It says lift the dot on it. Don't know what that came off of. Let's move on. Oh, well, there's my next target. Solid 24 signal. Another ball jar lid. A little busted up. Let's see if we can find one that's hooked to a jar. Move on. Oh, this is interesting. I found that in the same jar with that ball jar lid. I thought it was a pop bottle cap, but it's not metal. I think it's cork. And I'm wondering if it's the top off of an old bottle. That's kind of interesting. We'll move on. Yeah, there's my next find. An old key. It's down in there quite a ways. Can't tell what kind it is. I'll move on. Now there's a cool find. In the past I've <clears throat> dug some old bottles within about five feet of this spot. <clears throat> this was just under the surface. I'm guessing that's a little perfume bottle which is pretty cool. I can add that to my collection. Tiny little thing. Well, my best guess on this piece is a tip off of a welder. I worked in a fabrication shop for a lot of years and it doesn't look like a newer one, it looks like an old one. That'd be my guess. Well, there's my next find. A hinge. I 
Let's keep looking. Oh, well, there's my next target. It's a ring for the base of a toilet. And uh, I don't know if you can see it from here, but over against that tree is a toilet seat. And there's another one over off this way. I dug both of them from up here. I'm assuming they were an uh, outhouse that went along with the structure that was up here. Well, I'm about done for the day. Time to go get something to eat. We'll see you on the next hunt. All right, I'm on a new hunt today. I got a permission on an old house that's been here from, uh, I don't know, this little community was here in the 1800s, late 1800s. I got a permission to do a small yard and just found a couple of finds. Yeah, the first thing I found, triangular piece of iron. Not sure what that's all about. Nothing distinguishing on it. My second find, just now, was a weedy. See if I can get a date off it. Uh, 47 maybe, let me. All right, it ends up being a 1927 Weedy. Not bad for a first find. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, there's my next find. A little square nail. Let's move on, see what else we can find. Got a pretty good signal right here. Showing about six inches down. We're gonna dig it, see what we got. Well, it was a good solid signal, but ended up being a piece of aluminum. Let's see what else we can find. Well, got another higher tone here. Could be a coin, could be another piece of aluminum. Only one way to find out. Well, there's my next find. How cool is that? It's a uh, matchbox, not an old one. It says NASA on the side. Probably for transporting rockets or something. I don't know if. Broken windshield, but all the wheels are there. That's pretty cool. Something to add to my car collection. Well, there's my next target. Another piece of aluminum. Not sure what those came off of, but let's see what else we can find. Well, there's my next find. 1971 dime. Out on the curb strip. Yeah, we'll keep going for a minute. Well, there's my next signal. It was a screamer. Piece of wire twisted up. Well, I think I'm going to finish this curb strip and I'll probably be done for the day. Well, I'm going to finish off this hunt with a modern penny. <clears throat> yeah, about the only older thing I really found was the old Weedy 1927. So, successful small yard, so I didn't expect to find a whole lot. See you on the next hunt. Well, I'm out again at a spot I've hunted a few times. They're doing a little construction down here and tearing up the ground a little, so I thought I'd come out and give it a try. Here's my first target. And first target's modern dime. A couple years off from silver, but we'll keep looking. Three years off from silver, actually. No freaking way. Right here. I'm not far from Lake Michigan. Sandy area, but there's a history down here that goes back to the late 1800s. And I just found something I never thought I would find. A whole 
bell, crotal bell. Unbelievable. For this area, I guess it's not too far-fetched. I mean, there was activity down here in the 1800s, but a bulldozer just went through, and I just pulled that out of the ground. Well, I'm not sure what the number on this one is. I'll have to clean it up a little better. But that is definitely on my bucket list. Last thing I thought I would find down here. L. Morgan is right down here now too. He's gonna run home and grab his detector and come down. We've been waiting for him to rip this up a little bit. They're gonna, I think they're gonna put a road here through the dune. They've been wanting to do it for a few years now and I guess they got permission to do it. So we figured as long as uh, they were running up and down this, we might as well get over here and poke around. <coughs> Tell you what, I'm glad I did. Check one off the bucket list. And it's complete, it's not broken either. I am just super stoked. I'm going to keep poking around a little bit here now. Well, there's my next target. Some type of old clasp or buckle. Kind of falling apart. Not quite sure what that's off. Suspenders or something. Let's move on. Well, there's my next target. little kid's rake or some little gardening tool. I don't know. It's, it's pretty heavy metal. I don't know what that, that's a kid's toy or if that was actually a garden tool. But let's move on. Well, I'm out the same spot today with Ken, practical Ken. It's very cold out here today. And my first target is modern nickel. I think it's in the 70s. See what else we can find. Well, I'm back in the truck warming up. It is 30 degrees out and windy, and it is cold. Uh, Practical Ken, he's still out. I can tell he's freezing his butt off, but I had to take a break for a minute. Uh, you can see Ken way over here by this tree. He's doing a little digging. I don't know what he's on to, but... We shall see. Well, I'm back down at a spot. <clears throat> I've been hunting for a few days now. Uh, they've been tearing it up down here. There's some history down here. Just found a spoon handle, spoon or fork. It's got some fancy on it. And it's not silver, though. It's silver plate. I don't know if you can read that. sterling plate for a minute there i thought i had solid silver but it's pretty cool anyway nice relic let's keep going see what else we can find yeah there's my next find big chunk of lead not sure what that was used for but we'll keep going see what else we can find well, there's my next target. Big chunk of a square nail. Looks old. We'll keep looking. Well, there's my next signal. Solid 13. And it's a 1974 nickel. Let's keep going. See if I can find something older. And my next target, modern aluminum nail. Move on. Yeah, well, there's my next target. Some kind of an old pulley or something, or a wheel. Not sure what that is. Let's move on. Yeah, well, there's my next signal. Big chunk of lead. 
Well, let's see what else we can do.